Hi folks, today's film review is number 47 on the AFI's list. Elia Kazan's 1951 film adaptation of Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. This is an excellent movie. The acting is so on here, it's wonderful. This film is one of the few films that has been nominated for all four categories in acting. Marlon Brando was nominated for Best Actor. He did not win. He was the only one who did not win. Vivian Lee won as playing Blanche Dubois. Kim Hunter won as playing Stella. And uh, Carl Malden won as Mitch, as Harold Mitchell, nicknamed Mitch. Um, so three of the Oscar, the actor nominees won. Uh, Marlon Brando did not win. He lost to Humphrey Bogart in The African Queen, which I suppose is a worthy loss. This film's acting is so good, especially for Marlon Brando. He holds us in a state of thrall. We are watching his every move. He is a kind of a slob, sort of abusive. He's uh, extremely obnoxious, and he's just an unlikable character. But it really takes good acting to make a character so unlikable. The others are excellent as well. This is a wonderful film, a wonderful adaptation of a play. They did, because this was the 50s, they did have to fiddle around with the source material with Tennessee Williams' play, which was even darker than the film. And it's hard to imagine that anything could be. Um, but they still had to fiddle with it to meet the standards of Hayes Code and you know decency in films. Um, but this is an excellent film. It is creates a very hypnotic atmosphere. It was very drawn into this film. And it creates the mise en scene, the setting of New Orleans, or as they say, New Orleans. <laughs> uh, it creates it so well in this atmosphere of so these bohemian people, these down-to-earth people. Stanley Kowalski, who's played by Marlon Brando, is a very down-to-earth kind of, you know, he's, he sort of represents everything bad about humanity. But, but he really is the core of the film, and this is an excellent movie. If you have not seen this film, I would highly recommend it. I would warn, though, this is a very dark film. Uh, there's not much happiness in it. Tennessee Williams had a very troubled life, and he wrote what he knew, and none of his plays are particularly happy. But this is an excellent film. The acting is so good here. The script is excellent. This adaptation is absolutely wonderful. And uh, I would highly recommend this movie, as this is one of the masterpieces of the modern era of film. And that's my review. Thanks. Bye-bye.